The following video contain or may contain materials, content, and language is likely unsuitable for younger audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Come on, Mob Mob Janksu, stop running like a coward and fight like a man. Come in, but don't disturb when I play. What's up, everyone? It is I, Joseph Flynn Dawson. Fucking Christ, Dylan, did you summon that guy? Well, Bernard, it is my twin brother, named Joseph. Twin, twin, twin brother? Are you freaking retarded and crazy or something? No, no, Betty. I'm not retarded and crazy. I told Joseph if he wanted to reunite, and he accepted. And how did you and Joseph reunite after so long? I'm guessing Dylan and Joseph really did reunite, Bobby. Wow, I didn't know Dylan and Joseph could possibly reunite after so long. I just didn't know. But will it get possible to reunite? I don't know, Bernard. Maybe so to speak. When I was 13 years old, I haven't decided when to come to the store after three months of shopping. Right now I am 20. I can see that, Betty. Hey, Max and me friends, we have had enough of you for foiling our plans and for taking us down with your damn superpowers. What do you care, you asswipes? You should know that you guys are the true sort of losers around. Don't call us ass wipes, you sissy. Didn't you know that we don't deserve a big loss? <laughs> At last, our traitorous brother, Jerry, is finally dead. We finally give that motherfucking traitor an extremely massive beat down. As I said before, you and that little wimp will never be together forever. You said it, Betty. Once a wimp, always a wimp. You absolute bastards. You'll pay for what you did to Harry. Ha. It's already too late. We already claimed our flawless victory that we always wanted and really deserved for so long, and you can't stop us now. That's right. Your so-called superheroes are now super losers, and your superpowers are useless against us. And now... Careful, you're looking like you're a lifetime. <laughs> Jerry, please, don't kill us. We are so sorry for abusing you nonstop and for banning you from everything made from chocolate. We promise we will never do it to you again. It's too late for apologies, Bernard and Billy. You were born as troublemakers, and troublemakers should not be forgiven. You're still going to get us into bigger trouble if you play innocent and fool us by your stupid apologies. But Harry, we didn't mean it. I'm also sorry for calling you a limp. Please, Harry, I'm begging you, have mercy. Mercy? Is that what you troublemakers want? Mercy? You stupid troublemakers don't deserve mercy because what you three did is merciless, and you troublemakers were born with no mercy whatsoever. And to prove it, I'm going to give you the very painful and severe corporal punishment that you three really deserve. Time now for the big end to face justice. No 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 Yes 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 What the fuck are we experiencing from our past? So angry P-Head, did you seriously run amok the items? Of course, because I was tired of not getting my own way like my Archie Angel 4 does.
Yeah, but do you think that Archie is the leader of the Gamma Wolverines, which consists of Jack the Blind and rapper animator 2K5 Troublemakers, as well as Colline 75 Windows' Troublemakers and Steven Animates 2007's Troublemakers? I guess not, because- <laughs> The fuck? Yeah, it was the B-Gang screaming like random Team Fortress 2 teammates after experiencing their past. So the B-Gang have terrible flashbacks? Of course, Anthony, they suffer anxieties of their past because they have the anxiety disorder which makes them anxious. Wow, just wow. I never knew they were anxious this entire time, so that's why they constantly suffer anxieties about newcomers. At least they don't have post-traumatic stress disorder like what Dylan has. Hey, leave me the fuck out of this. Chill out, Dylan. John did mention you because he heard you have that disorder which makes you traumatized. Whatever you say, Cedric. What's up, Sam? Sup, basic stick man, 3D man and the rest. I don't mean to be too overprotective over privacy, but have you knew about our information? Well, for some reason I actually do. Basic stick man. Your real name was Edward Stixon, middle name's Antonio and Cullsworth. Birth date was October 10th, 2004, age 18, which means you're a young adult, and your parents were Robert and Jenny C. Stixon. Not to mention that you originally lived in San Antonio, Texas. Jesus Christ. I didn't know you actually know the information of mine. Well now you know, basic stick man. You may be created by Jiggity, but you were created by him and appeared in his first video about you at the age of 13. As for you, 3D man, your real name was James Rodford, middle names Robert and Dylan, birth date was December 6, 2001, age 20, which means you're an adult and in your 20s, and your parents were Alexander and Jill Rodford. And also, you originally lived in Jacksonville, Florida, where Betty lives. Wait a second. Is what you're saying about 3D Man and Basic Stick Man all true? I'm guessing what Sam said about 3D Man and Basic Stick Man was all true, jiggity. Exactly, Betty. As George Washington in Orange Through Time series once said, I cannot tell a lie. I needed a new set of dentures. I'm not going to repeat it again. MS Agent was not my fucking spot to begin with. Do you understand now or not? Was it me or was Paul I crazy about MS Agent? I don't know but if he doesn't want to make MS Agent videos, he can stop making them. Plus, it's his decision, not ours. True, but his spots from now on are text-to-speech, Viand, Sparta remixes, Shurik scans, and so on. Yeah, talk to you later. Sup folks, I am back. What the hell is up with Kalaya now? Bernard, there is something strange. Kalaya stated MS agent was not his spot to begin with, yet some people don't believe in him. Hi guys, sorry for being late but I just heard the Gamma Wolverines trashed cigarettes at the park, causing themselves to get grounded. You mean RG and Hill Ford? William Hudson, Julian Wilson, Gavin Middleton, Millie Stevenson, Gabriel McDonald, Jason Bradshaw, Nicole Roberts, Bertram Leendiff, Roman Sokoloff, Sarah Vander, Daniel Crompound, Nicholas McLean Donaldson, Daniela Dawson, Alexandria D. Rambo, Robert Robinson, Leonardo Jackson, Vincent Flankton, Lana Delish, Houston Dias, Aaron Henderson and Francis Harrington because they are the Gamma Wolverines themselves. I remember the time that Biatch Archie confronted us, Billy and Harry, for our involvement in Jack the Violent and rapper animator 2K5's movie, which is just stupid in my opinion. If Archie's parents figured this out, what would they do to Archie? Probably ground him because Bernard said in Jack's video that Archie can't sue him, Billy, Betty and Harry because he is way too young as he is 10 years old. I also remember that Archie acted entitled in class, didn't want to be in Brainiac Adam's movie's premiere night, until he gained some respect for Brainiac Adam because of his movie, argued with his sister Brittany over a TV, 
made a top 15 worst binders video, argued with us and Harry over an involvement and argued with nice Carl in McDonald's, not to mention tried to force him to quit his job as a manager of McDonald's. True. But enough said, let's go out for a dinner at shame on you. At least that's better than me making Microsoft Agent videos which I don't do that anymore.